$2.96. All right, guys, so here's the apple butter, and it's $2.96 for the jar. We have a two pound bag of red delicious apples. I'm sorry, five pound bag, and they're really firm, they're not soft. I'm gonna get that. I needed a new jar for my kombucha. My one I had is too large. We don't drink that much kombucha at a time. So, let's see how many jars we can get out of the five pound bags then you get out of a jar. Good morning. Welcome home. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the Nest Kitchen. Today, I am in the kitchen because I didn't get to finish that task last night so here i am and i'm ready to go ahead and work on my um stewed apples so i purchased some red apples they are not of crisp variety they're like in the medium range but in sweetness they are superb in sweetness okay and they are going to do really well i was able to catch these um for a really good deal they were about two five pound bags um and i'm ready to go ahead and get them canned up I love these because I cook these for my family quite often. I would get them in the grocery store in cans and I would take them out and we would have them with pancakes, we would have them with oatmeal and things like that. So what better way is it for me to actually cook and prepare and preserve my own and learn how to really get this recipe down packed the way I like it. So what I've decided to do, I've used, I'm using the um ball can book today and this is the one i have and this is the recipe that i go by um, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and add some of the spices that i use for my recipe when i'm cooking it um for my family um, because it's a little bit different here in the book and i don't think that it's going to affect the preserving of it at all because we can season and flavor um our preserved foods when we can them all right all right so here we go. I have my beautiful, beautiful apples here. Um, as you all could see, I've already, um, I've already washed these and cleaned them really well. Washed them under really warm water with some baking soda and removed all of the um, different, you know, things that may have been sprayed on these because I didn't buy any organic bags. These were just some that were in the store. Um, however, um, these will be just fine because I'm going to remove the peel anyway. Um, we won't be using or eating the peel. Now, if I was doing a recipe where I wanted to eat the peeling, I would make sure that I chose something that was more organic and I would also still clean the, the um, food before I actually processed it. But enough of that rambling. Let's jump into it. So as I um, cut the, um, you know, as I peel the apples over here, I'm going to put them in an ice bath just to keep them nice and crispy. And my mother used to always tell me to add lemon juice um, to my apples whenever I cut them because that will keep them from turning brown on you so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to try to keep them crispy i'm going to try to keep them from turning brown and i'm going to as i cut them up i'm going to place them in the ice bath All right, friends, 
right, so I have finished slicing my apples and they are looking really good. And they aren't turning brown, they're staying a really nice bright color. I just tasted one and they're really crispy still. All right, so now it's time to make the simple syrup that the apples will be canned with, the syrup that's going in the jars. All right guys, so now that I have all of my apples sliced up and peeled, I'm gonna go ahead and add my pure cane sugar to the pot. And then what we're gonna use is cinnamon. I have my cinnamon here. And just about a teaspoon of clove, ground clove. Okay. And I'm going to just give that a whisk around and combine, combine the read. And I'm gonna add um, I may have to split off because I'm using, this is my medium stock pot. I might have to get my larger stock pot, but I have two right here in case I have to split them off. And I'm gonna add. All right guys, so I have both of my um, stock pots here just um, going and I split the sugar off. I have just a little less sugar in this one than that one. Um, so it, it was almost an equal split but not quite because there's a little more sugar in this pot than the other and that's because i'm using all of my biggest pots i have the uh, apples in here um okay so i'm gonna go ahead and um, strain off my apples and um right now i'm just bringing this to a low low simmer i don't want this boiling hot i just want it to melt the sugar down and get all of the ingredients incorporated the next thing I'm gonna do though is add my uh, vanilla. I'm gonna add some vanilla to the water, um, to the uh, mixture here. And for the largest pot back here, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of vanilla and just about a half a tablespoon in that one. Put a little bit more in that one. Okay, and just give that a little, give that a mix. And that's the cinnamon that's kind of floating up to the top there. And just give that a mix there. All right, so this is my, my own personal recipe that I usually um, do when I, I add to the ones that I get from the store, I always add those particular ingredients. So. All right, so I may end up adding a little more of something or um, the vanilla or a little bit more clove or whatever um, when I get ready to um, use my stewed apples. But for right now, I really want them kind of ready to go out of the can. All right, so All right, I'm gonna give this a taste just to see where we are with flavor. And I think in this one, I may have to just add like, I don't know, let's give it a taste because I was thinking I may have to add about a couple of tablespoons of sugar. so good and you know you just have to kind of get it to your taste if you see that you need a little bit more of something then you know just add a little bit more if you want a less a little bit less then add a little bit less okay so I'll let that simmer for just a minute and then we're gonna go ahead and get them um, gonna turn off the heat 
But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and strain the uh, water, the ice bath off of the apples. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just ladle in the All right, so Alright, so now I have my uh, lids are they're right here in some warm water and um, I'm going to put these on the jars and just make sure I get all the bubbles out. Make sure the apples are Submerged under the liquid, and I'm going to take um, a clean cloth and wipe the rim of the jars off with a little bit of vinegar. <laughs> I want the rims and the lid, um, the, the rims off. And this is to ensure that we get a good seal and also to kill any germs that may be around on that, that uh, ram. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to take my warm uh, lid and just place them on top of my jars. And um, my remaining liquid that I have over there, because I have enough to do eight more jars, I'm just going to cut up some more apples and use the remaining liquid for eight more quarts.
I'm just gonna screw it on. Um, not too, too tight, because we don't want it to be so tight that we can't open the jars, but one, two. All right, let's just make it sure everybody's on so we don't get any spillage. All right, so here they are. They are ready to go into the canner. Um, I'm gonna definitely get the rest of the broth that I have over here ready for um, some more jars. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get these processed because they're ready to go. All right, so I have the water in the canner. Um, the uh, canner is in a locked position. It can still open right now because it's not up to pressure yet. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and bring this um, up to pressure. And once the pressure, um, once the canner is um, brings up pressure, the indicator, the indicator valve right here that will pop up. And that'll let me know that it is ready it's, it's at pressure and then i'm going to take my 15 psi weighted gauge and i'm going to put it on the top here so that it can start building up the correct amount of pressure um, i'm in georgia so the miro canner requires that i use the 15 psi weighted gauge a lot of you were asking was i um am i sure that i'm at 8,000 feet above sea level, and no, I'm not. Um, this is a weighted gauge, so it is not a, the dial gauge is different. So with this particular canner, the Miro requires that anyone above a thousand feet above sea level um, uses this largest one, which is a 15 um, psi weighted gauge. So I'm going to wait, let it come up to pressure, and then we'll add the the weighted gauge. All right, it's steaming. I'm gonna just put it on. All right, and then the indicator is up. The canner is at pressure. So we're gonna process these apples for 20 minutes. Okay, now it's starting to. Um, jingle a little bit and spin. So now I just have to make sure that it is at like a balanced um, even spin. It's not too fast. It's not going too crazy. It's just nice and even. And I'm just going to maybe just get it flat down just a tiny little bit so it can be more balanced. And I do that by turning down the heat just a smidge, a tiny little bit. Let me see. A little bit more. Oh, I'm just gonna pull it down just a little more. Thank you. I'm gonna do this one right back. Okay, I think that's good. We're gonna leave it. Um... All right, guys. I I think that's good. We're gonna leave it right there a nice spin on it. Okay, so the timer just went off. I'm going to go ahead and cut the um, pressure canner off 
and I'm gonna let it go down to pressure and I'm gonna let it go down to zero on its own. When it goes down to zero um, pressure, um, the indicator valve is gonna drop down and then I'll be able to open up the canner. But right now, we're just gonna let it go back down to pressure and we're gonna let these jars sit in there for about 15 to 30 minutes. Just let them sit down, um, sit and rest before I take them out the canner.